Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back here with Sovereign. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the locations of all five Picket Fences books. And they will unlock new things for you to build in your settlements. I am not going to showcase all of the items. And it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I do believe that some things should be left to surprise the player. So I'm sorry if that makes you mad. But if you're watching this, obviously you want these magazines. So just go get them, as Tiny Tina says. Weston Water Treatment Plant. This is the first place we're going to go. We'll find the first one in here. Now, I will tell you what these magazines unlock, but really, I think that some surprises should be saved for the player. It's just the kind of guy I am. I don't, you know, I don't like to just ruin everything, people. But, so when you get in here, you want to go into the elevator. Outside of the treatment plant, there will be super mutants dug in rather nicely. You're going to want to make sure you take care of them. Be careful. Uh, I have actually run into a case where they were in the middle of a fight with a sentry bot. And once it got done taking care of them, it came and tried to ass rape me with its laser. So yeah, don't want that. So if you follow the route I went, you'll come to this filing cabinet. It will be sitting right here on the corner. I've already gotten all these magazines except for the very last one I'm going to show you. So they won't be there, but I'm still going to show you where they will in fact be. So the next place is the Beantown Brewery. And that last magazine, by the way, unlocks lawn furniture, which really, in my opinion, is not very good. That last one, no. Don't like it. But Beantown Brewery, this one, this issue of Picket Fences unlocks the ability to build <gasps> Picket Fences. What? I know. So, once you've picked up this magazine, you'll be able to make Picket Fences, which I actually have to say I've used quite a bit. Uh, it's a lot nicer than those stupid-ass wire fences that you get. It, it looks much better, even though the pickets are all fucked up and the paint's all peeling. It still looks better. It still does. Um, now, just again, pretty much follow the route I'm going. It's very simple, though, this one. Where that gentleman is there across the catwalk looking at me at, in the completely wrong direction for some reason. Yeah, right there. You want to go in that room. Once you're in that room, I don't remember the exact spot that it's at in this room but it is in this room right here guys so don't worry it is in here it's on the the steamer trunk or the desk it's somewhere in this room so i can't remember it was a while ago that i got it i just took note of the location but it is in this room all right i'm moving on we're going to the Saugus ironworks the uh the book that you'll get from here will allow you to build statues Warning, they will take a shitload of copper to make, and copper is a hard commodity to come by. Uh, another warning, the Saugus Ironworks clan, if you will, the Forged, are, in my opinion, one of the more difficult clans in the entire game. I mean, really, I think I would rather take on a Brotherhood of Steel than these guys. I mean, seriously, some of them take a lot of shots to put down, and it can get really overwhelming when they're not, like, leaving you alone, and they're just unleashing on you with their damn flamers it's just insane fighting these guys i'm telling you telling you and i have some good weapons too they can be a big pain in the ass though so the basic idea here is you want to get to the top basically uh, there will be a roof access door you don't want to actually go onto the roof you want to get to the next highest place before that basically so you'll just basically want to follow i said basically a lot you'll want to follow the catwalks You'll simply want to follow the catwalks up. You go through this area. You'll see a Protectron over here. That's kind of how you know you're going the right direction. There's, I'm sure there's more than one way to get up here. But this is the way that I know. So, like, this is the way I always go. So, you're going to want to cross this little junk bridge right here. It goes across the gaps. Go up this ramp. Another little junk bridge. You'll know you're going the right way when you're crossing over all these junk bridges. Go down the stairs. Hang a left over here. I forgot where I was going for a second. When you hit this uh, this gun, you'll really know you're in the right spot. There we go. That's the door we're looking for. I would recommend that you quick save before going in here, especially if it's your first time, because an event will occur, and there will also be a speech check. So I would absolutely recommend that you quick save before you go in in case you don't get the speech check outcome that you want. Uh... Other than the magazine, there is another very important item in this room I suggest you look very, very carefully. But right here on the floor is where you will find the magazine. 
it was really easy for me to miss actually i couldn't see it very well but i am colorblind so i couldn't see the color differentiation that well but again it's there i promise <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that last part was not necessary, but I just really wanted to do it because it is funny. So we're going to Hardware Town now. Hardware Town is one of my favorite places to loot in this game, other than like Hubris Comics. That fucking place is amazing to loot. I love it. And then, of course, you get Grognak stuff. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Well, it is there, but not here. And it needs to be here because this here is talking about magazines. So getting back to here... The magazine that you will find in Hardware Town will give you access to the advanced lights, or high-tech lights, I believe they're called, excuse me. It'll give you access to the high-tech lights, which is actually a really good unlock. I like it a lot. It gives you, I believe, 10 or 12 new lights to play with, so that's excellent. Um, there's a lot of great stuff to loot in here. There are shelves in the back where I'm about to go and basically you can get to the tops of these shelves i suggest you do and i suggest you jump around because uh, at the end of one of them there is a safe that you can crack open and it's actually a really good one um, i've broken into it like three or four times now and every single time i've actually gotten a laser weapon out of it and laser ammunition and just good stuff in general ammunition of all kinds so uh, if you're a laser user primarily i would definitely suggest you do that although I'm sure now that I've said that, you'll get something that shoots lead instead of lasers, but hey. So go up the stairs, and uh, next to this in incredibly oversized key, look at that in comparison to the fan, <laughs> you'll find the magazine. Now, the combat zone, the final place in our final countdown is, yeah, it's going to give you access to potted plants, which... This was the first time that I've stumbled upon this place. So, I, I didn't know what I was, you know, getting myself into. But, uh, yeah. Every time I find a new place, I always stop, start recording, pull it up on my Pip-Boy to show you guys. Just in case I find something interesting and I need to save the footage. So, yeah, you come in here and this chick beats the fuck out of this guy. And she's all excited. Yeah. And here's the picket fences right here on the table, just chilling out. It seems like a very unlikely place for it. I thought about just running away like a bitch, and then I said, you know what? No, these guys need to die. So then I killed them. By the way, once you're done killing these guys, you can get a new companion if you go talk to the chick at the ring. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, drop it a like. And before you take off, don't forget to subscribe. Come back for some more. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you're here, and I'm having a blast. I will see all of you guys very soon in the next video. Goodbye.